Hi, this is Heather Rodriguez from naturalfertilityinfo.com and the Natural Fertility Community. And today's video topic is progesterone, cream, and pregnancy. So, very important topic. We've been getting tons of questions about it from you guys. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying this progesterone series. And so I'm gonna cover what progesterone does in the body during pregnancy, why it's so important, and how to use progesterone cream during pregnancy. Now again, this is for educational purposes. Please find a healthcare practitioner that will work with you. Find a doctor or midwife that will work with you using natural progesterone cream during your pregnancy. So, the production of progesterone during pregnancy, from pre-pregnancy, let's say like after ovulation, your progesterone levels are about two to three milligrams the day after you've ovulated. And that will increase in about a week to about 30 milligrams. You know, everybody's a little bit different, but it'll be about 30 milligrams of progesterone at that point. If fertilization of an egg does not occur, then the progesterone levels will rapidly decrease, as will the estrogen levels, and this will cause menstruation to occur, okay? But if you become pregnant, what will happen is that the progesterone levels will gradually increase and continue to increase and they will probably be peaking around three to 400 milligrams towards the third trimester, towards the end of the pregnancy. So you can see where we're starting here at two to three the day after ovulation, two to three milligrams of progesterone. And as your cycle and then pregnancy continue, you'll be up to 300 to 400 milligrams of progesterone, which will be being produced by your placenta. Absolutely amazing. So um, some of the actions of progesterone during pregnancy. The first thing that progesterone does is it helps to, it prevents the premature shedding of the uterine lining. So this is where the embryo has attached. This is called progestation. That is where progesterone got its name. It's progestation. It's helping the gestation stage so that the uterine lining does not shed. If the levels of progesterone drop, this is what causes miscarriage, okay? So progesterone is also responsible for the temperature rise during pregnancy and temperature rise in the body. It's kind of like how you know a chicken goes and sits on its egg so it can help warm it and it helps with the gestational stage. Progesterone is what does this naturally inside of the human body. And so when you are fertility charting, you'll notice when you ovulate, you'll see a drop and then you see this temperature rise and it really you know rises up. And what that is is that's the progesterone increasing. And you'll see, you can tell a lot about your progesterone levels if your um, you know, if your temperature goes up and it consistently stays up either until you menstruate or if you're pregnant, it'll continue and it'll stay up. So um, another, another thing that progesterone does in the pregnant body is that it softens the ligaments and muscles to help prepare the body for birth and labor. So this is sometimes why women get um, back aches, they get really achy, is because the progesterone is helping to soften everything up. There's some other hormones involved there too, but one of them is progesterone. There's also some data that is suggesting that progesterone may help the, may affect the transportation time of the egg in the fallopian tube, and it may also make the egg more susceptible to sperm penetration. We're not 100% clear on that yet, but there is some evidence that's leading to show that, so that's very promising. There was also a study in the New England Journal of Medicine that shared that progesterone actually helped to reduce the reduce premature delivery by a third. So if that's something that's happened to you before, you may want to do some more research into uh, preventing premature delivery with the use of progesterone cream. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you how to use progesterone cream to support a pregnancy. The first thing is, is that I... I suggest that you work with a healthcare practitioner who can help support you during pregnancy, someone that maybe can monitor your hormone levels if you've had previous issues with progesterone, and someone that you can talk to in person that can help you. Uh, the next thing is that do not stop progesterone cream once you find out you're pregnant. There's many other things that you stop doing, there's many herbs you stop taking, many supplements, but progesterone cream is not one of them. If you're using progesterone cream to boost your fertility or overcome any fertility issue you may have, you are going to continue using the progesterone cream until you find out when you are pregnant or until you get your period, okay? Because if you stop using that progesterone cream, progesterone decreases and a miscarriage could occur. This is very, very important. The next thing is during pregnancy is that, that you would use progesterone cream daily. Now, I would suggest that you have a couple of bottles on hand because you do not want to ever run out of progesterone cream. 
Uh, the progesterone cream that we work with clients with and that we find is fantastic is the Progest progesterone cream. The reason that we suggest this one is that it's completely natural and it has no herbs in it. We also have the Fertilica Natural Progesterone Cream. This is perfect during the fertility journey because this has natural tonic herbs in addition to the progesterone cream that help to establish your own natural hormone balance. But you do not want these herbs during pregnancy that are in here. You just want the plain progesterone cream. So this progesterone cream comes in a little box like this. Um, you can get it from our store, naturalfertilityshop.com. This progesterone cream has half a teaspoon you use is 20 milligrams of progesterone. So just get a little teaspoon or a half teaspoon and just dedicate it to your progesterone cream bottle. I leave mine in the bathroom. Um, and so that's how you would use it. You're going to apply it twice a day. So you would take half a teaspoon and apply that in the morning and then half a teaspoon apply that in the evening. Now the dosage is going to change as you go through your pregnancy. So when you first find out you're pregnant, you most likely would be at 40 milligrams a day of progesterone cream. That's the suggested usage during fertility journey, during the fertility journey. And you would slowly increase that to 100 milligrams between when you find out you're pregnant until 20 weeks gestation. Okay, so if you need to write that down on a piece of paper and work through the numbers, mark that in a calendar, how much you increase, and you want to gradually increase to 100 milligrams so that it's around the 20 week gestation point that you get to that. Now this is generally, this is when the placenta takes over making progesterone. So for a lot of people, this is the safe zone. This is when they announce their pregnancies. This is when they're like, whew, you know, they're out of the, they're out of the woods. They know that, okay, this is a viable pregnancy and everything's fine. Now, it's suggested that if you've had previous miscarriages or you are high risk or you've had premature deliveries, to not stop using the progesterone cream at 20 weeks gestation. You would actually continue to use it up until the week before your due date. But you have to understand, you're going to gradually increase that amount because by the third trimester, you're to three to 400 milligrams of progesterone, so you would have to mimic that and increase that. So definitely speak to your healthcare practitioner about that. Um, and so, after 20 weeks, generally that's the placenta is taking over the progesterone production. Um, it's also suggested that you make sure that you don't go longer than 8 to 12 hours, longer than 12 hours between usages because that's about how long the progesterone cream application, how long that progesterone cream is in your system. Also, create some type of system to mark down when you took your cream. A lot of women, when they're pregnant, they get pregnancy brain and they'll forget things that, you know, just kind of slip. So if there's a piece of paper you need to have in the bathroom and you just check it, make a chart. If you need to mark your calendar, um, you know, I use it oh, every time I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth morning and night, so that's when I apply it. Find a system that works for you that makes you remember to take it because it's very, very important. Now, when you stop using the progesterone cream, say you do decide to stop using it at 20 weeks gestation, or you do decide to stop using it a week prior to the birth, you would wean off of it slowly. You don't just want to stop cold turkey. Just wean off of it slowly. So that's how to use progesterone cream during pregnancy. And I hope you found that very helpful. If you have any questions, please visit the Natural Fertility Community. We have a fantastic pregnancy support group there. We also have great fertility support groups. People are journaling, they're sharing their stories, they're sharing their protocols. And you can visit there if you have any questions. It's naturalfertilitycommunity.com. And I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.